heard about Ebi from Nurse Life RN, it was one of the most influential Instagram profiles I've ever had. It's one of the reasons why I started joining as a travel nurse. I just started to do travel nursing and I really didn't know anybody besides the people that I've met as travel nurses, but they had already left. So when I decided to go into this industry, I saw Ebi on Instagram and I saw a lot of his wonderful memes. And when I was going through nurse practitioner school, I was using a lot of his memes to keep my audience um, engaged and his memes were really amazing and he was a travel nurse like me and he also did a lot of ICU and then he made these commercials really hailing nurses about you know being the one of the best things about healthcare and you know being a nurse is just one of the greatest things but also being a travel nurse and so I just feel really bad um, knowing that he didn't make it I, I assume that I got this that I saw this Instagram profile from Nurse Nady and he, it just showed that he said goodbye and rest in peace and I haven't really looked to see what else the news are. I messaged some friends and they reiterated the fact that Ebi did have leukemia and he did have cancer but I don't know the exact reason why he died and then I looked at his um, profile on Nurse Life RN, um, his meme Instagram and his last post was like on the 18th so it's really really just wondering what happened and I kind of just kind of lurked and I never really said hi to him I never sent him a message but another travel nurse knew him and he was basically a celebrity among travel nurses and I'm just so sad to know that he's gone and um, I'm about to go to work here soon but I just really wanted to say this message out there that if there's there's people out there just like you and if you're feeling lonely or if you think that nursing, whether or not you're a travel or a staff nurse, is starting to get to you, that there's always a sense of humor. There's always a little light behind the tunnel. Um, it can be a little bit of morbid humor, but it's also humor and it helps you get an outlet because we work a morbid job. Come on, I mean, it's just really just the way things are. And so having Ebby sit behind the Instagram, mostly anonymous, um, just kind of making me laugh and I'm sure making thousands and thousands of other people laugh and then on his Instagram stories he also had really frank discussions about other travel nurses and how they were dealing with their day and um, you know some really serious stuff so he was really an engaged member of the, the community specifically the travel nursing community and the ICU community and really all nurses in general so I'm really sad to hear of his passing I'm still too scared to check his personal Ebby Instagram account and I need to reach out to my other travel nurses, uh, friends, see, uh, you know, just so if I could just gather a story about Ebby and really get to know the guy because he was so anonymous but he was so funny and he was so generous with his money and he would, I think, I remember him raising so much money for his fundraiser and he kept none of it and he just kind of donated it because he knew that he had a large audience, he had a large engagement with the Instagram and social media community. But um, yeah, we lost a good one today. I'm gonna try to send some uh, other memes that just made me laugh. I don't think he'd want us to be sad, but I just, um, that'd be good to remember him in that funny way that he all wanted to um, engage with people, you know, like he always wanted to be fun, and that's how I took him, that's how I interpreted him, as somebody that was just kind of like right behind me, but I could never see him, but he was always right behind me, egging me on and supporting me in my emotional journey, so I hope you find somebody that'll mentor you, um, but also that makes you feel like 